shoes. Ah. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Glam by Ty, aka Ty, and we back with another video. And today, this is some real hot girl shit, okay, sis? I'ma just tell you, it's been a hot girl summer and I had to represent, okay? So this wig is from June Wigs. It is a red wig that's faded into like an orangey yellow color. It's super cute. It's a synthetic wig. So y'all know with synthetic wig, you don't get that much parting space and you don't get that much on the sides. But she looks super nice and she has a very, very soft lace. So I'm hype about that. So like I mentioned before, this wig is from June Wigs. And make sure that y'all go on ahead and check the description out. I will have all of their details below so y'all can go check them out and buy a wig for yourself. Now, they were kindly enough to put a wig cap in there. Thank you so much because y'all know every time I need my hair did, I need a wig cap. But moving along, I'm going to be using my thinning shears to do this hair project or finesse this wig, however you want to call it. And yes, you need thinning shears, texturizing shears. I got these from the beauty school that I went to. So you guys can get it from Amazon, eBay. I'm pretty sure they got them online. All right, so what I did was I split the hair in half and then I took one section, tied it completely up, took the other section, split it in half again and tied one part of it up. Now I'm going to be using this back section. Um, that's what I'm going to be thinning or texturizing first. And you guys know I'm just combing her, brushing her all the way out. And I'm going in diagonally, just making splits and cuts and nips and tuxes, okay? All right, so I do get a lot of questions when I'm thinning my synthetic wigs. Yes, you do need specific texturizing or thinning shears. You can't use regular blunt cut shears. Um, second thing, I do not have a technique on how I angle my scissors or how many times I've cut or anything like that. I go based off of complete fill. So if I feel like this part is a little bit thicker than the last section that I did, I'm gonna thin it out some more. Um, one thing that I noticed I used to take my scissors and drag down and that would be me thinning the hair. I don't do that anymore because I've realized that it creates flyaways. Um, one thing that I also realized that creates flyaways too is um, when I go on ahead and cut straight into the hair like on the top of the part or on the bottom of the part, I try to go in between. So if you guys are seeing me do these sides, I'm trying to go in between the side of the hairline, if that makes sense. It's better to watch me than for me to explain it to you guys. Um, but yeah, I try to go based off feel. I get it to the density that I would like. So another tip that I've also realized is I try to go in a diagonal angle. Yes, these are not regular shears, so it's not gonna make a straight blunt cut in the hair, but I felt like if you go in on an angle, back and forth, back and forth, that gives you better precision than going straight. Because sometimes if you cut just, you know, straight along, you might get some flyaways or you just might actually cut the hair in a way that you're not supposed to. So yes, I do go straight up like you're looking right now. I'm going straight, but I do go on ahead and go in and go diagonally too. I just felt like that 
um, it minimizes the straight cuts in the hair, if that makes sense. All right, so my best advice right now would probably be to do this on a wig that you don't really care about. Buy like a little cheap synthetic wig, like $20 or something, and go on ahead, get you a, pair, a good pair of shears, and try to practice it that way. I felt like for me, that's how I learned it. I kind of realized like, oh, thinning this hair makes it, gives it a more human feel. So that's really what I did. I just started thinning my synthetic wigs, and it actually did help, because most of them lasted longer because of me thinning them because the more hair that there's on there, y'all know synthetic hair gets tangled and nappy quick. But the less hair that was on there, it actually tricked it and it doesn't get as nappy and my wigs last longer. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like when it's completely been thinned out. And I feel like she just looks way better. She has more movement to her. She moves better. She moves more like a, a human hair wig than a synthetic wig. I'm just saying. But I did go on ahead and take a lot of hair out. All that hair that is in my hands is what I took out, but she was pretty bulky anyway. So moving on, I'm going ahead and straightened her, and I went on ahead and plucked her offline. Okay, sis, and she, look at that movement. She moves really good, okay? You probably wouldn't even be able to tell that she was synthetic if I didn't tell you, okay? Just saying. Okay, so you can leave your wig as long as you want, sis, but I wanted to cut this one into a bob, a nice bob. So I'm just taking my Andis clippers. You can take scissors. I like using clippers because I get a more precise cut. But I'm going to start in the back, and I'm just pretty much measuring out how long I want my bob to be. And I'm just going to use my clippers to cut a straight line, sis. All right, so once we cut that first section, we are now gonna use what we call a guide. So that cut that we already did is gonna be our guide for the rest of the wig. Now, you guys can just watch me shave, I guess what you call it, because I'm using a razor. But you guys can just see me um, shave the rest of this bob and yeah. All right, so I am very much aware that this is not a straight line, but I was just cutting to get rid of most of the bulk of the hair. And then I went back in and I straightened out that line to make sure it was a crisp and clean line for this vibe girl, okay?
Okay, sis, now for application, we're gonna use the Got To Be Free Spray. You can use the gel, but I'm gonna use the free spray. And I'm just outlining the line of where I wanna place my wig. Y'all see me do this a couple of times, so I'm just gonna let you watch it. Okay, sis, so I'm going to be pulling this wig all the way up and tacking it down. I am going to use my blow dryer to make sure it's completely dry, and I'm going to use my comb to make sure none of the hair sticks onto the lace. Where whenever I do a hair color, like I have to do my eyebrows to match because if real, it doesn't even complete the look if I don't have my eyebrows the same color as my hair. I'm just saying, but anyway, it's time to do some baby hairs. So I'm just pulling out some hairs that I could use to make my nice swoop in the middle, and I'm gonna use my free spray and my toothbrush to lay these down. All right, so now I'm just taking some concealer and I'm brightening up my part a little bit because it just kind of like disappeared. I don't even know, like I, like I don't even know where the fuck it went. But anyway, I needed to bring her back to make it look like it was um, some scalp there, okay? Because she was all fucked up. But anyway, I'm going to just use um, a precise brush and I'm dabbing a little bit on the sides and you know, just making it look more realistic. Here I'm just taking my flat iron and I'm gonna use it on 365, so it's not that hot. Um, you definitely don't wanna put too much heat on synthetic hair, sis. We know what happens, okay? So I'm using my flat iron and my comb to just bump the ends a little bit. I didn't want it to be just straight bland. Like I just wanted to have some body, some movement. So 
So the trick that I like to use is I do one pass of the flat iron and then I take my hand to kind of mold where I want the bump or the volume to be in the hair. And you let it cool down like that. You know, synthetic hair, you really can't curl, but you can manipulate. Okay, you guys, so this is the end result. This is some real hot girl shit right here, okay? So this, don't forget to check out June Wigs. I'll have everything in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.